Hey, what's going on guys? Matt back here with another tutorial and today we're going to be looking at um, adding a new level to our game and that can be many things. It can be it could be a level selection screen um, it could also be um, just another level like what I'm going to be talking about in this episode. Now I did already record this video but the file got corrupted so I've kept all the files here, all of the uh, assets and stuff here and I'm just going to talk through them with you because um, there's quite a few little things I did and I didn't really want to have to delete it all and go over it again so um, let me talk you through where we've got so um, I've for now I've set the max the score to kind of to five um, and I'll talk about that in a second but um, something else we've done is I've added a new script to Joe our player um, and that is the change level script um, basically that's the only new script we're adding um, and I'll cover that in two seconds, but the first thing I want to talk about about uh, the level changing is that we have to um, add our levels to the uh, the build settings. So if we go on File and Build Settings, um, we've got I've I've already added the levels here, but you need to add current um, and name your level something useful. So I've named mine level one. It was create a thing or something like that in the last episode, but I've renamed it to level one. Um, and I've also put the other one in called level 2. So once you've added your level 1 in, um, you're going to need to just press close. Don't build it or build and run or anything. Just close that. Um, and then you're going to want to go file, new scene. Or you could actually duplicate the scene, the original scene, um, just by pressing control or command and D. And then that uh, adds a new level in there. Um, I'm going to delete that one for now though. Um, and then level 2 um, will appear. And what you want to do with that one, you want to do exactly the same. So you want to go File, Build Settings, Add Current, um, and then we've got Level 1 and 2. Now, go, in, go back inside Level 1. Just make sure that we're on Level 1, um, because you have to open each level individually. Um, so we'll go into Level 1, and inside there, we've got our scripts of uh, or inside our Assets folder um, for Change Level, which I've made. So let's open that one up. And it's quite a simple little bit. Um, which is basically, um, we've got a variable that is just a boolean, which is uh, level end. Um, I know I should probably be using capitals, but I didn't, and I don't really want to go through and change it again now. But um, we've got level end, and then that one's false to start with. And then maximum points is the maximum points per level. And the reason why I've done it like this is so we can literally copy, uh, put that script onto every single level, and um, it's going to keep. Um, our points in there, so it's all good. Um, so the next thing we're gonna we're gonna cover is uh, so we've got max points, and I've got float is five there. Um, but obviously, we can change that on each individual level whenever we need to. Um, and then inside the update, I've got if Joe move score. So we're jumping to the Joe move script for score um, up here. Here, st static bar score. Make sure it's static. Um, we already went over that in the last one. Um, so static bar score. Um, and then um, if that is equal to max points in fact we want it equal or we want it greater than or equal to uh, just in case if we collect two points at the same time uh, it could mess it up a little bit um, so we'll go greater than or equal to max points application load level level 2 um, so that will then load level 2 and change so we'll change level to level 2 um, and that will do the same for every level so we do. That's one thing we're gonna have to do. So we're probably gonna have to actually create more than one script because we got we have to have one per um, one per level. Um, we could add a little bit of code in to do that, but it's probably easier just to copy the script and re rewrite this bit out. And so if we just save that and we put our change level script onto Joe um, and we hit play, because um, I've got mine set to five. Let me turn that down. I don't know if you can hear it, but it's quite loud. Um, so, if we go around collecting our points, and I'm missing all of them, um, and what, the minute I hit 5, it will jump straight to the next level, which is kind of annoying, but that's um, where I'm going to go to in this video, and then in the next one I'm going to talk to you, there we go. So we've jumped, and in fact in level 2 I did change how it looks, um, and I'll show you that in a sec. Um, so, I've got all my levels like that now. Um, so if I show you level 2, um, 
Where are we there? Um, level two is literally the same as level one, apart from I, I duplicate, I doubled the amount of everything, and then this wall in the middle, I just made made a gap in there, so um, they kind of stick to their own little areas, but not quite. Um, so yeah, so that's that's what I'm going to cover in this episode. Uh, next episode, I will talk about um, adding kind of a next level, like completed the level uh, like image, like on the G on the GUI, and um, and then I hope to be looking at doing the uh, start menu and things like that. Um, I have been working on one for my uh, for my own game at the moment, and it has taken a long time to get to where I've got to. But that's because I've tried to do it quite. Um, I don't know. I've, it's quite hard to explain, but I've tried to make it very. Um, it's all inside one script, and I tried to make kind of a character create uh, section at the start, and it's. It's it's working well, but um, I'll I'll try and cover I'll try and get into the details on that uh, in a couple of episodes time. So thanks for watching, guys, and um, I'll see you next time.